Hey YouTube, this is Tom at TM Aquatics and I hope you're all doing great. Today is an exciting day here in the fish room. I just received notice that a new shipment of fish just arrived at my post office and they're ready for me to come pick up. Now these just aren't any fish. These fish happen to be on my bucket list. In fact, I talked about them in a previous video I made maybe five or six months ago. So I'll go ahead and drop a card up above. So be sure to check that out when this video is over. But for now, I've got to head to the post office and pick up these new super cool fish. So why don't you come with? Then we'll come back to the fish room and we'll do an unboxing. Well, that went relatively smooth. They actually had the package right there at the front desk. So I was only in there for maybe two minutes. I wish it was like that all the time. But let's get these fish home. We'll open up the box. We'll check them out. We'll get them floating. So let's get back to the fish room. All right, YouTube, it is time to unbox these fish. So here we go. Now these fish came from Eric Bodrock. Eric's a pretty well-known person that goes around and does a lot of speaking engagements at various fish clubs. He is um, regarded as one of the premier hobbyists uh, when it comes to Corydoras and uh, some plecos. And that's actually what we have in this box. We have some new plecos. And for once, the post office was actually a day early. These weren't scheduled to arrive until tomorrow but they arrived today no complaints all right he's got them packed well in this uh, styro cooler this is actually nice i could use another styro liner for actually i take these to my fish auction and uh take my goodies from the fish auction and put in the cooler to carry home. This is actually a nice size. All my other ones are much larger. All right, so we've got them in the cooler. Heat pack, still putting out a little bit of heat. And I know he said he packed these in breather bags, which I've never seen a Pleco packed in a breather bag. So this is going to be interesting. A little bit of water here, a little damp. But there is one alive and doing well. Well heck, let's just get them out and show you how many we have. Four, five. Six, seven, and eight. So what kind of fish are these? Well, it's going to be hard to really see it. Let me see if we can do this. <clears throat> and again, they are stressed out, so their colors, you're not going to be able to see them. And in the uh, through the breather bag, it's really going to be hard. But they're about uh, two inches, two and a quarter inches. These are the l 494. They are a uh, Pacoltia. They are related. Same uh, genus as the uh, leopard frog plecos, the Pacoltias. They're a newer pleco to the hobby. They're not really well known yet. And what I really like about these is they look like a cross between a leopard frog pleco and L194 and an uh, Panaculus uh, L397. So you're gonna see that once they color up, you're gonna see the colors. I'll go ahead and post a picture of one uh, from the interweb somewhere here so you can see what they look like when they get larger. But these guys were on my bucket list. They didn't cost a whole lot of money. I don't know why their price isn't higher, probably because they're not really well known. I don't know. But they're a beautiful pleco. 
They do get a little larger than the leopard frog pleco. Uh, they get about uh, anywhere from five to six inches total length, but they are the Pacoltia uh, Rio Peru, and they are an absolutely stunning little pleco. So if you're looking for a fun, exotic pleco that has a really unique pattern to it and lots of color, and you don't want to spend the money for like a zebra pleco or a 397 or even the leopard frog plecos which sell for $50, you might want to check out picking up possibly a group of the L494. All right, so since these guys are in breather bags, we can't float them. What we need to do is kind of the old school acclimation process. They are a little cooler than the tank that they're going to go into. They're about 76 degrees. So if I drop them in the uh, tank they're going into, which is at 82 degrees, um, that's not going to be easy on them. So we are going to go ahead and we are going to get them poured into a container. Then we're going to just slowly add some water, bring it up to temperature, and um, get them in the uh, quarantine tank. They're gonna have to go through a full quarantine process. Um, not because I don't trust Eric, I just quarantine everything, but I actually don't have a tank ready for them. They will be going in a 75 gallon tank that I currently have set up with some other stuff in it. I'll show you that tank here in a couple of minutes. We'll talk about the plans, but we're gonna get them out of the breather bag. We're gonna pour them in these little containers right now then into a bucket and we are going to get them warmed up. All right, there you go. Those are the new L494s. And you'll notice the pattern on their body is very similar to a young L134 leopard frog pleco. And again, they are from the same family, the Pacoltias. And these are the Pacoltia Rio Perus. They do get larger than the L134s. And uh, in my opinion, every, uh, every bit is good looking, but at about half the price, which absolutely blew me away. So anyways, let's get them in a larger container. We're going to start acclimating. The TDS in this water here was uh, pretty high, high compared to what I keep them at. So it's at... 340 and they are going into a tank with the uh, TDS at about 80 to 90 and uh, the water temperature is about six degrees warmer than what uh, is in the containers right now so anyways let's uh, let's get them acclimated and get them in the quarantine tank can drop a little bit of sea chem safe in the water just to uh, remove any ammonia buildup so we don't get any ammonia burn because that is still the shipping water and they've been in there for 24 hours now so we're going a little old school on this acclimation and uh, we're going to try and get them warmed up here it's about right we'll let this bucket fill about halfway I'll pour it out, I'll let it fill up again, and then they'll be ready to be netted, and I'll just drop them straight away into the quarantine tank. All right, YouTube, well, the new L494s have been acclimating. We're going to go ahead and do a temp check. 78.8 degrees, and uh, the temp in the tank that they're going into, according to the temperature controller right now, it's sitting at about 80 degrees. Uh, the TDS in the tank they're going into is at 90. The water they came in with was about 350. The TDS in the bucket is uh, sitting at about 102, 103. So we've got them fairly close to the uh, water they're going to be heading into. So it's time to net them out, get them in the new tank. And uh, they'll be in this quarantine tank for at least the next 30 days. After which time they'll be moving into a 75 gallon. So let's get them out of the bucket, let's get them in the QT tank, and then let's go check out the 75 gallon tank that they're going into, because that tank is going to have to go through some major changes.
Beautiful, beautiful fish. Really a neat pleco. All right, we're gonna let them chill in this tank for a while. Hopefully they'll get a little bit of their color back. Let's go check out the 75 gallon tank they're going in, and then we're gonna wrap up this video. All right, YouTube, well here is the tank that those new L494 Plecos are going to go into. Yes, the 75 gallon planted Endler's Jungle Tank. Now with that being said, all of the Endlers are coming out, all of the plants are coming out, and this tank is gonna get a complete extreme makeover. I have plenty of time though, I've got over a month to do it, but still a lot of work to do. Now with that being said, if you're looking for any Endlers, whether it's a pair, a trio, or maybe even 40 or 50, drop me a note and I'm sure we can work something out. But a lot of work to do on this tank, but I'm looking forward to the changes. And uh, with that being said, let's head back to the fish room, see how those new fish are doing, and then we'll wrap this video up. All right, guys, well, there you have it, the new L494 Picoltia Rio Perus in the fish room. I am super excited to add these to my collection. Eric, if you're watching, I just want to say thank you. Huge shout out. Very, very satisfied with these fish. They look phenomenal. Now, these guys are going to color up quite a bit yet. They're going to grow several inches more. And, um, yeah, I'm just super excited to have these. So, anyways, what do you guys think? Thumbs up? All right. We're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them down below. Hit the like button on your way out. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And until the next one, we'll catch you all later.